All right, I got a Mojo video that somebody put in the watch this later. I normally don't double dip on Mojo, but I was actually interested in this. Top 10 games saved by last minute changes. I'm just curious. This isn't going to be a whole Mojo thing. I just wanted to watch this myself because I, I want to know what Welcome they, to what watch it Mojo. is. And to take it easy. Drugs are still wearing off. I bet Joel dies in the first game. I bet that's also, what it was. Also, since some of these changes involve plot elements, some spoilers ahead. They probably split video game change, red and blue into two added games. To our list. Dude, that would be so diabolical. Red and blue were one game, and Nintendo's like, wait. <laughs> Last minute, it's oh, not too late man. to tell us in the comments. Double the profits. Number 10, Atlas's voice actor, Bioshock. Remember, oh, I think I know this one. Short Hold down, on. Right, short down, right proper, you hit them with electrobolt. Atlas has a distinctive Irish accent, which he drops upon revealing his identity. However, that Spoilers, wasn't always the case. The character was originally intended to be voiced by Greg Baldwin, the same voice actor who plays Frank Fontaine, Atlas's real identity. No, that was okay. One two things. One, I heard the I heard that the guy playing Atlas, instead of being Irish, he was supposed to be Southern, but people thought he was dumb, so they didn't want to do it. They didn't want to follow around a Southern guy because people thought Southern equals stupid. I don't know if that's true. It was either that or British. It might have been, they, it was a British guy and they didn't like him. Yeah, British equals evil. I think it might have been that. It might have been a British guy. But I will say, like, I always hated that these are clearly two different actors. It sounds so stupid. And the way that Fontaine talks, he's like comatose. He's like sedated. sedated. It's so weird. What? Red and blue were originally several hundred slightly different versions, but my moto told them to no. make it just two and make the differences bigger. Don't do that. I believed you for a second. Would you buy a Pokemon game if you only get one Pokemon on the cart, but it's $5? That's just Tamagotchi. No, that's Pokemon, and I came up with it. That's NFTs. Uh, yeah, but for children, that's better. Game Freak originally wanted Pokemon of 65,000 unique versions. Oh my god! So, there is a big thing around this time for, like, these games where you, like, collected things, like, monsters to fight. I had one. Scanners. And they looked like this? And basically, you would scan a barcode, and you would just go to, like, the, the store, and you would scan a barcode, and they would give you, like, a thing that would fight. So I would go with my mom to the grocery store, and I would come home with, like, 200 monsters. Between this and Tamagotchis and, like, all that stuff, there was, like, a big boom of, like, little gadgets that you got. Have you guys seen Hit Clips? <laughs> you know what these are? I can't believe these existed. Even as a kid, I was like, you guys are fucking dumb for doing this. You would plug in a song, and it would play, like, eight bars of the song. Not the full song. Hold on. All Star by Smash Mouth is right there. Wait a minute. Does it play the whole song? The early ones didn't, but it might. All right, pop that joint in. Hit play. Let's go! Just like the real thing! Literally a piece of plastic that plays ringtone. Dude, isn't it... It's kind of weird to me... That now we live in an age where you can have any ringtone that you want, but most people just have the default. Yeah, we're in a post-ringtone society. That's so weird. I used to have uh, something from Kirby, and I would have the Fallout level up, like the early Fallout level up sounds for text, and I was like, damn, I'm cool as hell. <laughs> you would be able to identify gamers from across the room because you would hear the Metal Gear Codex sound. Fucking everybody had the Metal Gear Codex sound. And this is before, like, gamers existed in public. So you'd be like, oh, this was a long way off. Where do we go? Okay. Anyway, yeah, uh, Southern people are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, including linked battles. Pokemon Red and Blue versions. What, like a link cable came with the game? Producer Shigeki Morimoto revealed in an interview that Nintendo was insistent on players being able to fight their pocket monsters with each other. Yeah. He was not enthused with the idea at first, and the original feature had automatic- Is that Drake Bell? Was Drake Bell in a Pokemon commercial? I did not know that. He always had that fucking parted hair, man. He's got the- Randomized outcomes oh, instead of live battles. Oh, cute! Naturally, that didn't go over Early well. Early Pikachu and is so the familiar cute. Back and did you guys see the Pikachu from the po Pokemon presentation? I saw people say he was creepy. I think he's cute. It was so creepy. I love him. You don't like him? You get some, like, Annabelle energy from this guy? He's not gonna haunt you. He would never do that. 
He's just gonna fight battles in your stead. He looks so cute. Number eight, the awful voice acting, Resident Evil. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. <laughs> in addition, the script was translated directly from Japanese, meaning many of the awkward lines were the result of things being oh, lost Oh, so it just translation. got translated. Plus, like... the actors weren't given much, if any, direction, so they just read the lines as they were written. That was too close. I you never really thought about sandwich. that. The fact that it's a, a Japanese game. Huh. Google Translate Japanese? I think it was before Google. Damn, dude, how did you translate stuff before Google? <laughs> That sounds really hard. Removing the auction house. Okay, Diablo I don't know 3. anything about this. I'm not a Diablo guy. Diablo 3 was originally released with an auction house feature. This in-game item buying system allowed Wait. players to purchase items from the game, either using currency from the game or the real world. Did they get rid of it? My friend made a lot of money on this. They got rid of it? Okay. My friend made an obscene amount of money on the auction house. Kenny and I... Dis along with being my number one uh, duo league uh, friend for life, he made, like, I, as I understand it, like thousands of dollars on this. League boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a better way to put it. Yeah. Word? Cell shaded art style. Except the latter was added quite late in the game's development. I didn't know that. Reportedly, the game was around 75% complete Ew. when the entire art style was overhauled. Well, it's not that bad. This was that shit looked like Halo. Kony was cracked at playing baby easy brain dead mid laners. Why we gotta? Why we gotta do that? Why we gotta be aggressive? There's no reason to be aggressive. I was good with a multitude of mid laners. I'm not getting baited. I am setting the record straight. <laughs> Number four, battle royale it's mode. It's the best. Fortnite. Good days. Oh, yeah, this did get added late, right? They were like, damn, people are going to want to play zombie modes. <laughs> we can practically hear you in the comments. What? How is that possible? I forgot Fortnite about that. Fortnite is the yeah. name in Battle Royale games. It is now. This should be number that wasn't one, the dude. First. Fortnite this game changed the world. A PvE game. It's really weird that Battle Royales, like, weren't a thing earlier. Isn't that weird? Like, Battle Royales really came around in, like, 2014, I think, 2015. But it's, like, such an easy concept. I guess it's not really... If you didn't have the internet back then, how do you handle... How do servers handle, you know, 50 or 100 people, right? Halo had the Hunger Games maps. Really? Minecraft was probably the first big one. It was, uh, really? I get... I don't... See, I don't know when Minecraft came out, because I was too old. <laughs> I was like... I never play. I I played maybe an hour of Minecraft. Number three, a new ending, The Last of Us. The ending of The Last of Us is one of its most praised aspects. Joel saves Ellie at the cost of a potential cure. For I actually the world. don't know what the ending However, was originally. However, the game was originally envisioned with a more happy and less morally ambiguous conclusion. For much of the game's development, Tess was to be the game's antagonist, pursuing Joel and Ellie across the country. Uh, Ellie's first human kill was to have been Tess to protect Joel. That's kind of boring. That's a good change. LOL spoiling the show for people. Oh, shit. I didn't think about that. You guys knew. You guys knew, right? You guys knew. <laughs> normies, normies, I can't. Gamers rise up. We knew already. You should read the manga. Dude, I said this before on stream. I can't watch The Last of Us. I straight up can't because I know what happens. The show story is different. I don't believe you. I think it just fleshes out characters like Bill, who didn't have much, you know, stake in the first game. I think this game gets a bad true. rap now from, like, hashtag gamers. It was really good when it came out. I'm not a zombie story guy. Sadly, I know I'm missing out, but no. <laughs> he looks like a fucking Trent here. This dude's a Trent. Mimir's head on Kratos' belt. Really? Of war. Oh, then you've come to the wrong This video's place, fascinating. The highest I'm mad interested in this. Midgard, I hate Mimir. Dude, I like to... So, somebody made a really good point that still sticks with me on Twitter. So, I hated Mimir in the second game. Because he would not stop calling me brother and he would not shut the fuck up. And I was like, I don't remember hating him this much in the first game. I liked him in the first game. And somebody pointed out, you get him like three-fourths through the game or halfway through the game. And I was like... Oh, he's not there the whole time. Lollipop Chainsaw did it better. That game sucks. <laughs> Mental elements about it that nearly. I really wanted to tr uh, try While to like that guy's game. While it was tempting to talk about how Kratos' son Atreus was nearly cut entirely, we're discussing one of the god protagonist's other companions. Honestly, if Mimir's head being attached to Kratos' belt was the idea from the beginning, 
we'd be more surprised. Why does she look so familiar? Every time I see Freya, I'm like, oh yeah, that actress. Uh, mm, uh the fucking, uh, <laughs> Susan Sarandon? Like, I don't, every time I see her, she's like a mashup of like four different actors that I can't think of. She looked like Kristen Wiig. <laughs> no! I would love to see Kristen Wiig in a game. Oh, Kratos, oh, you kind of killed my son. Oh, yeah. Number one, adding <laughs> multiplayer. Yeah, you can tell this looks like shit. GoldenEye 007. Oh my god. Oh my god, they should have kept it out. Sure. They should have kept that 007 shit out. This game is garbage. Campaign. Hold on, I'm going to give you guys a 1996 uh, sleepover simulator. Ready? <laughs> All right, you just ordered uh, pizza and Pepsi. It is 8 p.m. past your bedtime on a Friday night, and you have all your friends over, okay? GoldenEye 007. This is my shit. Amazing. Incredible. I want those times back. Stop using Odd Job. You're camping. You would just hide in what? There is a spot in the level that you could just go in a corner and just sit there, and then your friend wouldn't know where you were, and he would just pop up on your screen. You would shoot him. Oh, I wasn't born yet. It really, you don't know what you missed. Playing worms until midnight. Oh, only one here reviewed Pizza Tower. <gasps> All right, we'll look at it in a second. But what everyone remembers about it is its multiplayer. Hmm. Up to four players duking it out on various maps, kind of it was the premium things. multiplayer shooter of its time. And yet, this beloved part of the game wasn't added until six months after the game's release. Programmed primarily by the programmer Steve Ellis, the multiplayer mode was created without the knowledge of Nintendo. Wait, six months after the game's release? He meant before, right? It had to have been before. The programmer Steve <laughs> Bottom added. left, nice? Are you fucking kidding me? Your eyes were just scanning the image for something to riff on, and you found a jackpot with, the, with this in the middle, huh? <laughs> The multiplayer mode was created without the knowledge of Nintendo or Rare management. Oh, they're it probably mad as hell about that. Dude, Nintendo is probably like, you're making our hardware look so bad. That shit is 2 FPS. Cut it out. It's amazing that something so crucial to the game's success and legacy was added so late and done by basically <laughs> one man. I forget how funny Goldeneye is. People just running around like this. Ba-na-da-na! <laughs> Every time you kill somebody, every single time. This game is so funny. Honestly, if they fix the lag on Nintendo Switch, which apparently they didn't, apparently they did not fix that, which is so sad. I would play that right now. It runs better on Switch. Wait, does it? I'll run some lobbies. Maybe we'll play it tonight. Maybe we'll play it tonight. It's bad. I'll I'll be the judge of that. Ah, see. Okay, guys. If you had to guess, what do you think only one here, our favorite game reviewer of the ages? What do you think they thought of Pizza Tower? It's a zero. <laughs> you knew it was a zero. You knew it was a zero. I did this bit doesn't even work anymore. What? This guy's a Russian agent. Dude, this got a three? That's crazy. A three for him is like a 10. That's what I'm saying. Hogwarts. This game is good customization. The world of Hogwarts is a very interesting world to explore. Just imagine how biblical this game would be with Team Deathmatch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I read that, but my brain didn't process it until it came out of my mouth. That was one of those sentences that you read out loud, and then it, it like kind of spills into your brain. I was like, oh. 